Hi everyone. In this video, we will recognize the relationship between the solutions of an equation and its graph. Use the graph to determine which of the ordered pairs is a solution to the equation. Our equation is y equals negative one half x minus four. The first thing we'll want to do is plot each of these points to see if they fall on the line. If they do fall on the graph of our line, then they are solutions to our equation. So let's start with the first one, one, two. We'll start at the origin and move in the x direction, positive one, and then we move in the y direction, positive two, and our point one, two is here. It does not fall on the line, so it is not a solution to our equation. Let's try the next one, zero, negative four. We start at the origin again, and we move in the x direction, zero places to the left or right, and so we just move down four units, one, two, three, four, and here's our point. It does lie on the line. So the ordered pair zero, four is a solution to our equation. Let's try the next one, negative six, negative one. Starting at the origin, we'll move negative six in the x direction first, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then down one in the y direction. And our point again lies on the line, so the ordered pair negative six, negative one is a solution to the equation. Let's try the next ordered pair, negative two, negative two. Again, starting at the origin, and we move in the x direction, negative two units, and then we move negative two units in the y direction, and our point is here, which is not on the line. So the ordered pair, negative two, negative two, is not a solution to our equation. Let's move to the last one. Negative four, negative two, again, we start at the origin, and we move in the x direction, negative four units, one, two, three, four, and then we move negative two units in the y direction, and our point is here, which does lie on the line, which means it is a solution to our equation. We have now found out of this list of ordered pairs, all of the solutions to this equation, and we're done.